Hey everybody, welcome to Premium Time with John Darr. I am your host, John Darr, and this is our first episode of Premium Time with John Darr. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know what else you are supposed to be doing in your day right now, but I'm sure this will be a complete waste of time, at least 30 minutes by watching us, but maybe not. I don't know. It will be exciting and you never know. We're going to try to educate and bring value to you in these 30 to 45 minutes. Um, I would first like to introduce my guest, my, my good longtime friend, fellow Gainesville guy. Um, who's agreed to join me on the first podcast of Premium Time with John Dar. There's not a lot of people that would join me in this situation, but he is nice enough to join us. So my man, Charlie Delatori, welcome to Premium Time Good to see you, buddy. with John Dar. I, I so appreciate you <clears throat> being on the show. I called 37 other people. <laughs> I was, I was going to ask that question, and like how far down on the list was All I? 37 said no. They're like, are you crazy? I am not going to be on your first episode of a podcast. But I called Charlie. I said, Charlie, will you please do this? And he said, absolutely. Here's the thing, as I, and, we, and we do know each other and have for a, for a while. Like, No matter what happens with this today... It, it won't be the craziest thing we've ever done. Without a doubt. So that's why I said yes. Yeah. I was like, sure, <laughs> This why is not, not even I mean, close. It's not even going to be close. To the craziest so, yeah, we'll, thing we'll, we've ever done. We, we, were, we were in a band. Um, for, we are. I don't, you know, when you, when you speak in past tense like that. It hurts. It stings a little, yes. I'm not going to lie. We are in a band. We are, we are in a band. We haven't played in a while. <laughs> he, is in, he is in a band, um, uh, Whiskey Jones, which is a great group of guys that have a lot of talent, unlike the band that we were in, which was just a dad band with a bunch of imposters. It was so much fun. The band was called Good Bottom. The band it's called Good, Good Bottom. Bottom. Yep. Um, yep. And that is a fishing term. I think the joke is don't Google that because <laughs> right. you, you may not get what you're you'll looking for. You'll get a for. virus. Or maybe you will. You'll yeah, get you, a virus you, you'll, in you'll your computer. Get a virus. Yeah, That's don't right. talk about viruses right now for sure because. Yeah, you don't want a virus on your computer. You don't no. want any other sort of virus. For sure. So. Thanks for having me on, man. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. So today is Groundhog Day, which I, I oh. thought this was a little bit interesting uh, today that, you know, we're going to do this podcast, which I, I'm not a big movie guy. I know you're a huge movie guy, so I'm glad you're here to talk about movies because I don't know much about movies. But in the movie, I guess the, the, the same day kept happening over and over and over. Sure, that's right. So Bill Murray, it's a Bill Murray classic, right? So if we mess up, it's going to continue. That's up to, that's up to the engineer. <laughs> that's up to Elio, right? If it, right. Ooh. It's all your fault That's right. we mess up. If, oh, yeah, if it's never the talent's fault, right? No. It's, it's got to be the producer's fault. Absolutely. So, so yeah, for sure. I, uh, Do you see how I refer to us as talent? Very talented. Uh, yeah, I mean, for sure. <laughs> ridiculously talented. <laughs> no. um, I love positive quotes. So one of the things that I wanted to do on the show was uh, every week I wanted to have a positive quote of, of the week. So I found this quote from a German philosopher named Meister. Is that right? Eckhart. Meister Eckhart. That's right. So I don't no idea who that is. He was like from the 1200s. But anyway, the quote goes like this. And suddenly you know it's time to start something new and trust the magic of new beginnings. And uh, again. It's apropos for today. It is. For I sure. thought it was just perfect for today. It's and perfect. We'll see what this turns into. Um, so, Charlie, tell me a little bit about what you do and the magazine. For those of, uh, that don't know what you do and, and a little bit about Our Town and, and <clears throat> some of the stuff you do, let's, sure. let's start there. Thanks, I appreciate that. So I'm from Gainesville, born and raised. Um, so that's kind of how John and I know each other. And for the last 21 or 22 years, I've, I've published uh, a bunch of Gainesville magazines, essentially. So I own a company called Tower Publications and we publish locally, we publish Our Town Magazine and Senior Times Magazine. Been around for a whole bunch of years. Our Town is, uh, probably our best known product in that it's home delivered or direct mailed to most of the homes in High Springs, Alachua, Newberry, Jonesville, and then there's a Gainesville edition as well. So, um, but it's been around for a long time. I, I, uh, we love covering the community. That's a big part of what we do. Mm -hmm. all, of, all of our editorial content is locally written, um, which is great because we get a chance to really get to meet people and know what's going on in our community and our marketplace. Um, it's so much of what we, what sort of the, the common thread of all of the content that we write. 
Um, we have a fantastic staff of writers and, and an editor, of course, and Erica Winterroad has been with us for a long time. Um, and yeah, all the content that you see is, like I said, written by somebody within our staff. And um, What is it that you do? Because <laughs> it's a great magazine. Okay, it has here's beautiful what I, pictures, here's what I do. great articles, <laughs> and I see your name in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do whatever has to happen. Uh, all right? You put but, all that together. <laughs> not, honestly, this is what I... Do you, remember, have you been, you've been bowling before where you flip up those little bumper rails? Yes, that, yes. That's what I do. Keep, all right? I'm keep the, the ball. I just keep the ball from staying. I keep it in the lane. Sometimes it goes a little right. Yeah, sometimes yep. it goes a little left. But I've, I, I'm super blessed. I have such a great staff. Honestly, I know that people say that all the time. Um, I've had a group of employees that have been with us, really a team that's been with me for you know, many of them since the very beginning when we published our very first book in, in uh, January of 2000 now. Wow. Um, and those, some of those employees are still with us. And so they make me look a lot better than we really are. And if they're listening to this, they, they know that. <laughs> um, I literally had a conversation with one of my employees today where I said, I'll do this for you this afternoon and your job tomorrow is to make sure that you remind me to make sure that I did it. And she goes, it's been 16 years. I think I know right. what I have I to got, do. I got, <laughs> I got that part. I, got I just it. need you to do this. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's my job. I, I'm the bumpers yeah. on the rail. I kind of make sure the ball just, we're going to end up in the right direction. I'm just kind of making sure that it doesn't go into the gutter. You guys do a great job. I, I, if you haven't Thanks. seen one of his magazines, check it out. It definitely is uh, It's a great insight into what's going on in the community. Thank and. You. You know, both of us were, were born and raised here, and, you know, our roots are here, and, and uh, we're, I'm appreciative of magazines like his because it does highlight the good stuff of what is in Gainesville. So, anyway, um, one of the other things I wanted to talk about, I wanted to do every week, was uh, focus on a charity, a charity of the week, so to speak. So, one of the things that also I'd love for you guys to do, if you're watching out there, please Please ask us questions, comment. Wait, are there people watching? Uh, <laughs> I don't <Maybe>. know. <laughs> Elio, like Elio's watching. Probably my mom. <laughs> mom. <laughs> Hi, mom. So, uh, yeah, my mom's watching. So for those That's of good. you that are out there that, that are watching, please comment, ask questions. But the Charity of the Week is St. Francis House. I know this month's magazine did a little special on St. Francis House, so. We did, I brought a copy of the magazine, so if you see something that looks like this out in your community, if you don't already get it in your mailbox, pick it up. Yeah, there, there is a great story about the St. Francis House, which has been a, a Gainesville institution for, for so many years, and I, I re really wish we had Lori on, on to, to talk more about it, because I think it's, you know, it's really her baby now, but it's evolved a lot over the years. I mean, I think for us growing up, it was a place where people got fed, you mm -hmm. know, and there was, food for, for the homeless in this community. And it's really evolved, I think, over, over time to be able to provide opportunities for people to get a fresh start, um, for, for, uh, for people to be able to get a job, earn a place to live. You know, Gainesville's, Gainesville's a really unique place because affordable housing here is, is complicated. Mm -hmm. It is very difficult. So there's a lot of families, a lot of, of us that have a difficult time finding a place that we can afford to live. And I think St. Francis House is really uh, evolved over the years to be able to provide people, homeless people, a place to start mm -hmm. so that they can get a job and work better and, and, and start pulling themselves up. And, and they work with a conjunction of other charitable organizations in town. I know Catholic Charities is a big part of that. I, I, I won't list them because I know I'll, I'll miss Forget somebody. somebody. I'll yes. definitely miss somebody. Then they'll be mad at us. Uh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> All five people that are watching. <laughs> and then my name keeps being on the bottom so they'll know who is Right, they'll know up. how to find us. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be terrible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, they've you know they've I think they've evolved a lot. And interestingly enough, and I think this is we're, we're both in business, so I think we tend to think about business owners in general. But mm -hmm. and with the age of COVID, I think over the, over the course of almost a year now, St. Francis House has, has had to adapt to that as well. Um, so they had to have some partners. I think Jorge at Best Restoration helped them produce a, the ability to be able to do their meal program outdoors mm. and be able to do some stuff outside. So um, they've had to evolve, and and the amount of people they're able to shelter when it gets colder than a certain temperature, I think 45, I don't know, has to be cut in half. So there's, you know, they're, they're having to, to deal with a lot of issues as it relates to COVID as well. It's been a tough year for them, I'm sure. And, and you know, people like us that are blessed and God knows I haven't missed a meal in I don't know how I, long, yeah. but um, those like folks it's... aren't as blessed. And, and it's amazing the stories that you hear from just going there and volunteering and, and listening to these people, you know, that, to me, it could be any of us, you know, at any moment, you could be in that situation and, and it's really tough. So 
shout out to St. Francis House and, and Lori and, and her team for Absolutely. providing a great um, you know, thing for the Gainesville community. Um, so, Small Business of the Week is, we're to, we're to the Small Business of the Week. I, I like this. This These are like sustaining features each week, right? Every week. So like we're, in the magazine business, we have sustaining features, right? It's like, see? I'm going to have a column on, on you know, medical advice, or I'm going to have a column on these. We call these sustaining features. I think that's beautiful. So you're, I you're no going idea. through this. You've got, you've did your positive they quote They call of the day. that like endorsements and insurance. It's like, oh, uh, it, <laughs> right. There's this endorse and exclusions. Ex uh, I'm yeah. sure we we're excluding something. Well, yeah. Of, of what I thought we were going to talk about. But anyway. Um, <laughs> but this is good. You kind of went from quote of the day. Quote of the you day. You didn't ask me what my quote of the day was. Though. Oh, what is, oh, I didn't know. Wow. I said, I did says. not know you. What is, I have a couple. Oh, awesome. Do them. Let's I, go. Mine is I'm from sorry. a famous philosopher named George Thorogood and the Delaware Destroyers. And it say. was one bourbon, one scotch, and one beer. Okay. No, <laughs> yes, yes. Bad of the bone. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, I that mean, guy. But no, actually, yep. I have others, but I think I'll skip it. We'll just leave it at the, at the, Okay. George Thurgood's a pretty good one. That's a, I mean, they are lyrical poets, right? And, and <laughs> it is poetry, yeah. absolutely. But I dig how you're going down the, the list of... Do you really have another quote? I do have another one, yeah. Well, sure. It's actually, well, it's from Booker T. Washington, and all, all kidding aside about Sweet. that. The one bourbon, one scotch, and one beer thing. I do love George Thurgood, and we do play a little bit of George absolutely. Thurgood in, yes. our, in Whiskey Jones. Um, but it's no race can prosper till it learns that there's as much dignity in tilling a field as there is in writing a poem. And to me, I, I love that just because it's, it, it, it talks about being able to respect all people regardless of what their stage in life is. And so after just talking about St. Francis House, I think that's a, it was a really interesting sort of quote that popped into my head as it relates to people who are trying, mm -hmm. people who are always struggling, always working, always trying, and kind of getting there. So mm -hmm. just a thought. I love it. Yeah, man. That's excellent. Golly, you're good. <laughs> yeah, you're One of the good. other things, okay, so I'm going to say this. This is going to get, this is, this is, we're ad-libbing here. So, uh oh. Charlie is, is, he's done really great in the first 12 minutes. And, and one of the things that is, is that I want you out there to, to know is, oh um, Charlie could possibly be a regular guest on this podcast, right? But is I Is this want, the pressure moment? I want, yes, I'm going to put you under all kinds of pressure. I want you, the people, all three people watching, <laughs> To vote Mama, on whether you, Mama Dar. My, my mom, vote on whether you want to see Charlie come back every week oh. and create absolute havoc and chaos in this podcast. I mean, uh, that sounds like fun. I think that would be a blast. So, I would if the people that. want you, oh god, no. then, then we can make it happen. No, so, <laughs> um, anyway, no, I'm just kidding. But yes, I'm, I'm not kidding. Vote. Oh yes, let's go see. Um, Elio wants you. You got a coat on. He you just, look like he, me. Yeah, nice. We look nice. It's, he's Cuban and I'm Cuban, yeah, so he it's has a Cuban to say thing. that. Yes. Yeah. He's he already yes. wants me to bring him like empanadas I, and, I, and and other Cuban foods. Cuban sandwiches. God knows I that's your go to. Throw those back, baby. Yep. Cuban sandwiches for sure. <laughs> um, so I'm a big foodie. So one of the one of the things that I wanted to talk about was the small business of the week, and I, I'd love to do a small business of the week every week, and and I think that's a a, a cool thing. So. This week, Small Business of the Week, are my friends, uh, the Cacciatore family, who have a catering company, and they also have a pizza place out in Hale Plantation Village Center that they just opened up again. Um, they closed it down a few years ago, and, and Dean focused mainly on catering. Um, well, they've opened the pizza place up, and I begged them to open the pizza place up. I think I was the one that was like, please, Dean, bring back oh. the pizza place, because Calzones and pizzas, he's amazing. Yeah. And the family's amazing. They're, they're great folks and great friends of ours. So um, the first small business of the week is Catchatory Catering and Pizza. Open Thursdays and Fridays from 4.30 to 9 o'clock on Thursday and Friday only. So they're just getting going. Um, so it's a great small local business. I would love it if from people watching this podcast would be lined up out the door trying to get some of his awesome cooking, awesome Italian food. So I, uh, I would love to see as many people as there's are out there swing by Thursday and Friday. What day is it? Tuesday? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, yeah. yeah. So a couple days you can get some most awesome pizza. I got some pizza last week. Um, I 
did not eat just the one piece on my plate. I did have a couple pieces because I couldn't resist, <laughs> and that's the way it goes. But um, but anyway, Small Business of the Week, Catchatory Pizza in Hale Village, open 4.30 to 9. Have you ever eaten there? Did you eat there yeah, when it was yeah, open? I, yeah, way back in the day now. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. And, I mean, Catchatory family is a you know, great family name here in town. And Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm glad to see that they're back open. Yeah. But you know what made me, I was thinking about was, Growing up, so absolutely catch Curry. I'm there on this weekend for sure. I'm there on Friday night. But what place is growing up? Because we're both from Gainesville, right? So like, yeah. What place growing up is like ingrained in your brain? Jumped out like pizza place? But, no, I mean it, I don't know. Like I had a well, couple the that I thought of but for sure. Nappies. I used to go to Nappies when they were on Newberry Road. Oh, it's now a little. Right next to Pep Boys. I don't know what's there now, but I used it to was. Go to the I forgot that it was there. It, right on Newbury Road, mm-hmm. like front. Yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah, when yeah. they were open. So, Dean and Ginger, I know you're watching. I'm sure you're See, watching. See, they love Good Bottom. Oh, they love. Good. They We've love played our there. Game. We've, We've played, played there many yes, times. They love. We have it. played. They and they love for us to play there again. So maybe we'll go back and hurt some people's ears. I know everybody says Skeeters. For those of you oh, who yes. aren't from Gainesville, like Skeeters is a was like a institution in this place, like in this town. It was the place that you went to late night if you were out on the town. It was also the place you went to for weekend breakfast, right? But dude, for me, it was Burrito Brothers. Oh, like, yes. I went to GHS, right? And we had open lunch. Right there, yeah. So we would, in a very safe manner, <laughs> get in our vehicles. <laughs> I don't want to tell my insurance right, person right. or my parents. La, 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 drive la, la, a thousand la, la. miles an hour to Burrito Brothers, grab some food, and come back. And it's just it was part of it was part of me growing up, man. Like, I think that's was such a huge. I think yeah, it, it's funny because I'm. It was so far downtown for us. We didn't sure we didn't go there that much. But it, the few times that I went there, it was it, Burrito Brothers. Is oh amazing. man, it, I. That had that, it, remember like, you know how the Krispy Kreme light when the donuts were hot and fresh, it would be like, dzz, yeah. dzz, dzz, it was just, like hot donuts. They'd have that guac today sign or guac, guac now thing. Amazing. Oh my gosh, dude, I freak I'm out. That's great. I know. <laughs> I know. It's just great. But did you know what other place I thought of too? Lipum Music. Do you remember Lipum? I know where we have some music stuff. I took guitar about lessons. Right? Yes, I took guitar lessons there when I was 12. You didn't, from, not from... Not from Don Felder, was it? <laughs> from the Eagles? No. He worked there. No way. Yeah, and he taught, and so did Tom Petty. Like, Lipham was like an I, institution. When I started taking lessons, they saw that I had very little talent, so they gave me <laughs> Terry Felder. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Don's brother. Do you want to tell them what your nickname was in Good Bottom? I don't even know. What? It was No Strings Johnny. Oh, yeah, No Because we didn't Johnny really want no him strings. to actually yes, have that's, strings. That's what they used the to guitar. call me, Johnny No Strings, because <laughs> I didn't really, I didn't add much to the song, to the musical part. So it was very similar when I was 12 years old. I took lessons from Lipham's music. Yeah. And I actually wrote a song. And There? While you were there? When I was 12, I wrote a song about golf. <laughs> no way, really? Probably doesn't surprise anybody. Do you want to try to play that next week? I, I, no, <laughs> I don't think any, I think the three guests that we have would. That's a whole lot better. If, if I play question music, on. Maybe one day. <laughs> I'll, I'm, I'll practice and maybe play. Lipham was, one day. Uh, it was like a, it was just an institution in this town, you know, like, and so, and there are so many great small businesses. That's, I think that's a, I think the thing that we have in common so much to talk about is, mm-hmm. is so many great small independently locally owned businesses that we love today and were around as part of our childhood. So when I saw that on the list, I was like, oh, I wonder what Gainesville places, Yeah, you know. If there's, any, if there's anybody out there that is brave enough to start a restaurant, and there are a lot of folks that are brave sure. enough to start a restaurant. If you go with, well, I guess, could you call it Skeeters? That'd be, I don't know if they trademark that. I don't know, dude. But <laughs> Not sure. But. Yeah, there's, I'm sure there's some legal stuff. Go see my friend Jose Moreno. He'll figure that oh. out for you. That's a good um, point. Skeeters, Burrito Brothers, um, let's see, Nero's in the mall was used to oh go there. Oh my gosh, yeah, all Nero's, the time. of course. That was pretty good. Yeah. Any of those, and you, you basically can't miss. I mean, you're going to be a success if you have 
big giant biscuits that were oh man they the were thick as your big. head pancakes they were giant just huge oh they were enormous just make everything big all I wanted to do was ever eat at Skeeters and my parents just kept taking me to Morrison's in the mall oh, that place God. like I'm like every 800 year old person is here eating meatloaf that and was I want to go to terrible. Skeeters terrible Morrison's was as good as Skeeters was Morrison's was sorry that, I digress that bad <laughs> um, all right so we wanted to also go to a weekly. Music update, what's going on in town musically? Um, and we'll, we'll call this the Sister Hazel update. Sister Hazel, those guys are, are, are friends of mine going way back. I was in, uh, I was in a fraternity here in town with, with uh, the bass player. Um, and then Ken and Andrew, we went and saw... Speaking of nappies. Seven, yeah, 700 right? times at nappies. Um, That's right. And, you know, Gainesville boys. So we'll just call this the Sister Hazel update. We're, so Sister Hazel is playing on Thursday, February 25th in Newberry, <gasps> South Carolina. <laughs> so uh, I live in Newberry, but not South Carolina. I know. Newberry, I, when I saw that, I'm like, oh, Newberry, <laughs> uh, nope. South Carolina, which, you know, it, it's not that far of a drive. I would probably drive to Newberry, South Carolina just to see Sister Hazel because those guys are... Those guys are amazing. And then the other uh, event was the Almond Betts Band on at St. Augustine this Saturday night at the St. Augustine Amphitheater. Now, is Almond Betts is that like part of the Almond Brothers? I I don't. Or is I, that where's Pat Dooley when we need him? Uh, he would know. He would know. Duels, if you're watching. Yeah, where are you? Comment on this page and tell us if the Almond Betts Band has anything to do with the Almond Brothers. D Band. Weird that you said that because I mentioned Lipham earlier. Mm -hmm. The Almond Brothers thank Lipham Music. Uh, no one way. Of the, yeah, one of their albums for a bunch of gear that they gave them for, a rec for to, rec to record. Or, no way. It was either a show the Almond Brothers were doing in the area or uh, they used, uh, yeah, the, so like Lipham had got thanked in a couple of different Almond uh, Brothers. I know Tom Almond Petty Brothers. worked there, right? Didn't you say yeah, that Yeah, and Don Felder gave him a guitar lesson there, I think. Like no they worked way. there together. Yeah, Mudcrutch was kind of born out of there too, like Tom Petty's old band. So I, when I thought, when I saw the music stuff, I was like, man, Lipham is, that's, I wonder, if, I'm sure Dooley's got some stories from that. I'm sure. Or Ken and Andrew. Those are the guys. Ken, or Ken and Andrew. Yeah, probably, for sure. Probably, definitely have some stories. So we'll have to have them on. Maybe we'll bring them on as a guest. I wonder if they'll play your golf song. They you could probably, teach them your golf. I, <laughs> you could, could you sketch it out? They would, I would, yeah, I've got to find it. I'm sure my mom, by the way, <laughs> mom, mom, I'm sure you've got it in a box somewhere. She's getting a lot of like, shout outs. Saved in a, so if you can find that song, we can, we can have Ken and Andrew see if they can come up with something. There is a great music scene though in Gainesville. For, I mean, out, outside of just that, like there's a lot of local bands that still play and, you know, safely outdoors, I think, but. Where is Whiskey Jones playing next? Well, that's a great question, John. You can check us out on Facebook, of course, or you can look at our website at whiskeyjones.com. We generally you play... You guys have a website? Yeah. yeah. Dang. Man, we're, we're big time. Holy we're, cow. We're, that's we're, amazing. It's amazing what a free website <laughs> generator will do for do. you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we generally play places like Great Outdoors, the High Springs Brewing Company in High Springs. We'll play Hal Patters in Lake City, uh, Town of Tioga, of course, Celebration Point, One Love Cafe, which we just played on Saturday. Places like that. So uh, we've got half the year scheduled out for the year already. So you can take. And you guys play it. once or twice a month. Something like yeah, that. something like that. I mean, we're, we all have you know we all have other day jobs. So right. It's kind of hard to get everybody scheduled together. But yeah, at least once a month, sometimes twice. Um, and we do it for us to be able. You know what it's like. We get together oh, and it is you know a blast. it's 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 just a chance to act like children and, and yeah and you know have a few adult beverages and and have some fun with some friends. I'm sure in this podcast. As we go along, we will tell some good bottom stories because there are some just amazing. I mean, literally, we've had stories from well, somebody broke a leg in one of our <laughs> couple of arms, literally <laughs> in one of our gigs. Um, I don't know. I, they'll they'll come back to me as we go along. We'll share good bottom stories. Well, we have to remember now that the current state attorney was in our band, so that's true. We, we're gonna have to vet this for. That's true. We might uh, have to. We get might have clearance. to go through. Uh, what's that word? What's that called? Um, delay a button. Might, delay yeah. button. Is there a delay button on <laughs> yeah. this, Elio? Elio can, can you he, like? He's gonna need the bat button yeah. at his desk. Right. So we that. start talking about that. It's gonna be. <laughs> oh my God! I can't believe they said that. But when you're in a band, that kind of stuff happens, and it's. I, I mean. Oh, we had fun. That's it for was sure. so much fun, and there were nights that we were so bad, and it was. Oh yeah, still, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> we'd, we'd, we'd hang on to those one or two songs where it was uh, like, man, we did that great. The rest it, was not so much. terrible. But, but people had fun. I was impressed because I know Whiskey Jones, play. I was there um, Saturday night at One Love, and, yep. and you guys are actually really good. I mean, I, I hate it giving I mean, you any I, sort of... I, thank you, but I, I'm still reading lyrics off of an iPad. The actual musicians are the ones making the music. I, I mean, they're awesome. But, yeah, it's And you're great. awesome. I mean, We I, had fun. You, Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I'm impressed. So if you guys want a good time to get outside, <laughs> I'm sure there's a ton of people that are locked oh. in a room and they can't get out and they are like, look, we will go outside to see anybody. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Look up whiskeyjones.com. Whiskeyjones.com. Right? Whiskeyjones.com yep, right. and check them out. So my friend Charlie's the lead singer. And uh, I know all the drummer, that guy, the drummer in Whiskey Jones. That's a complicated dude, I'm telling I you. I can't believe you got him to do a <laughs> drum solo. So when we were in Good Bottom, I always begged Wes <laughs> to do a drum solo. Did he ever do a drum solo? No, not once ever. And he's an amazing drummer. He is super talented. He's very good. So I'm there the other night at One Love and Charlie says, hey, Dar, guess what? Hit it, Wes. So, wet, you know, I walked off stuff. stage. I'm like, what did you do to get him to do that? We Somewhere, I don't know where we were, maybe a couple of months ago, that song came up and it's, uh, um, and we, I did that intro and we all walked off stage. Oh, and you just, just left, left him it. out there. <laughs> no way. <laughs> and the trick was like, how long are we going to make him do it before he just like throws his sticks down and walks, he walks away? He was dying. <laughs> we didn't leave him hanging for too long. But he, it was, oh, it was he pretty just, funny. He hates the spotlight. <laughs> he did so and great. And just does, just, <laughs> oh, I'm sure he was dying. But that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, okay, let's go to the local events. What do you call it? The, the, the section, what's the magazine term you used? You just calendar of events? No, the the oh, oh a sustaining feature. Sustaining feature. The next Thank sustaining, you. Yes. Feature? sustaining feature. Sustaining feature. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Uh, local events, and this weekend is the Hogtown Medieval Fair, um, and it's all virtual. So in years past, it's been out at the uh, what is it? The Gain not the Gainesville Raceway. The uh, at the airport. Airport. Well, the um, fairgrounds. Thank Gainesville you. Fairgrounds. Gainesville Oof. Fairgrounds. Good job. Yeah. So, 50 year old brain kicking in right there. And I don't know about you, but in when the Hogtown Fair is in Gainesville, you know, we, if you're out to dinner, you're out in the community, you would see these people walking around in these costumes that are just ridiculous. Okay. I mean, unbelievable costumes. So, now that this is online and they're able to get dressed up in the comfort of their own home, yeah. I can't imagine what the costumes are going to be like. Yeah, I watched the king and queen sort of do their intro. Uh -huh. It was it was because it started last weekend, right? I think so. And I think it's yeah. this upcoming weekend as well. So there's a whole calendar of events that you can go and kind of see what's scheduled and they if anybody who's ever been, you know, they've they've got competitions and artisans and all kinds of How do they do stuff. the turkey legs? Do they <laughs> Amazon prime I, them to you or something? 1 hour know. delivery. <laughs> Grubhub. I don't know. But it's anyway. somebody drink brings it to you. So Hogtown Hogtown Fair, if you guys know any local events coming up, feel free to comment below and tell me, hey, next week is this local event, and uh, we'll talk about it on the show, maybe, if it's interesting. If not, eh, you know. <laughs> um, what, a, what a great invitation that was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if it's not? If it's not, we might not talk about it. Thanks for trying. Sorry. I mean, <laughs> you know. I, um, so the next section is the stock market. Do you do you watch the stock market? Do you do you follow the stock market? I do. And, and what do you think of what's going on in the stock? I, you market? know, I, I, I am not smart enough to understand it a lot. So <laughs> yes, I spent I spent like Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, like really doing some trying to understand right. what has been happening with the whole GameStop thing. And, and what conclusion and did you come to? That it's like gambling. It's like <laughs> yes. That it's, I think. That like what I do for my uh, for for my retirement plan, right? Maybe not the best idea to right. jump into just... AMC movie theaters and see what right. happens <laughs> in four hours. It, uh, it is it's interesting because I I get my impression is it's like the Revenge of the Nerds, you know. And I'm mm -hmm. not a movie guy, mm -hmm. you know, where the nerds kind of come together and they and they win the you know whatever. And I feel like that's what's happening online. And they're, you know, this community, which is kind of cool in a way, yeah. have banded together to stick it to the 
Wall Street suits. It's interesting that the, you know, the idea behind crowdfunding, right? You've heard for mm -hmm. so long about companies being able to crowdfund and, and, uh, and people being able to raise money and revenue to start businesses. And through that, that, that's kind of what happened here mm -hmm. through the stock market, right? Mm -hmm. where, where they were able to, now I, I don't know enough about that sort of investing sure. to understand how they knew to you know, short, which, yeah, yeah, to short, mm -hmm. I, I, that I've never really done. Um, but it doesn't take long when it's, when you're, you know, it can only fall 100%, right? right? So <laughs> right. it can go up a lot. It can go up a lot. But it's only going to fall 100%. And it's crazy when it goes up yeah. 500% and then it drops awfully fast. Right? I had a friend of mine call me one time, this week or last week and he says, man, I actually own some AMC. <laughs> <laughs> what do I? Oh, he, he just happened to have he already happened owned to it? own it. I'm oh, like, oh, first oh. of all, why did you buy that stock? I'm it in was, the movies, dude, and that's uh, maybe that's, a rough. Yeah, idea. it's a dead end. But he, I, what for whatever reason he had it, and he calls me. He's like, "What do I do?" I said, "Sell it." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, is it higher quickly. than when you bought it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sell it. I still think it's going to. I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, just thought we talked. It's that. a. I, it's a really interesting topic, and I, it, I, I think what's what's really interesting to see is whether the regu any regulation will occur sure. or not. Because it's a, you know, uh, you're really talking about market f capitalism, market freedom. Sure. It's an interesting con I, I hope they regulate it if there was fraud, meaning if there was uh, a situation where the Citadel called some of these firms and said, hey, stop selling, right. shut it down. Right. That's fraudulent. So if, if that happened, yes, I, I hope they... Uh, that can't happen. That's not, that's not allowed. Right. But if it's just a community that says, hey, we want to stick it to these guys for whatever reason, I mean, that's perfectly, it's a big boy game. I don't understand. Well, they've you been know? doing it for years. And they've been doing it for years. They've been doing it in reverse for years. For years. So I'm okay with it. I, 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 you know, as long as there wasn't fraud. So. Yeah, agreed. 100%. Anyway. All right. So for, for those of you that know me, know I love to play golf. I've played golf my whole life and, and played golf in college. So I wanted to take a section of the show and talk about golf news. Um, two little bits of, of news. One was uh, a girl named Caitlin Huber from Gainesville. A couple weeks ago won a uh, Florida State Golf Association little junior tournament. That's It's not a little junior tournament. It's a pretty big junior tournament right here at UF. So I wanted to congratulate Caitlin Huber. That's awesome. She's the sweetest little girl. Um, she beat all these you know, world-renowned golfers right out here at, at UF. Yeah, that's great. So, uh, nice. <laughs> nice job, Elio. <laughs> so congrats to Caitlin Huber um, for winning the 13 to 15-year-old division. And also, uh, Turkey Creek is back open. Man, I heard that. So I have not been out there in, I don't know, when it, when it closed, years, but probably years before that. So I'm excited that, you know, that they got it back open. And from the, the from what I've heard, they just had a bunch of volunteers come out and start working on the course like Crazy. they're working in their backyard, you know, <clears throat> which was really neat. Um, Another longtime Gainesville place, right? I mean, Turkey Creek was around forever. Place. Yeah, I I just heard that literally like yesterday or the day before. I don't. How long has it been open? Do you know? I think just last weekend. It okay, was okay. A grand, they did a tournament, a grand opening. That's fun. Nobody invited me, which I'm. <laughs> A little bit <laughs> that's upsetting. mad about usually. Well, you I, are a bit of like Gainesville royalty, oh, golf royalty. Thanks. Yeah, I seem to get invited to almost every scramble that exists. Which, oh, uh, dude, I know that I, <clears throat> you know, I've invited. It's all good. That's the only way I won the bobblehead. Right. All right. I we <laughs> right. we do a golf tournament every year with um, yeah now Radiant Credit Union, Sun State Federal Credit Union in the past, and we do a golf tournament each year, and it's a foursome scramble we put together and. I, uh, you win this awesome little bobblehead doll because everybody's a winner because it's all for charity actually. And so there's a first place, second place, and a third place. And the only way I could ever win was to stack my my team. Yeah. So I had you on the team yep. one year, and we had Brian Watson yep. on the team. Good player. Awesome player here yep. in Gainesville. And then of course we had Eric from Ironwood, the, the other golf pro. Yeah, you hired there. the pro. <laughs> like he went and hired we, the pro. All I did was make sure and the cart. <laughs> person was with us the entire trip and just fed these guys drinks all night uh, long. Yeah. I, I mean, made was, one putt. It was great. I made one putt, <laughs> and it was really just I was allowed to make it because I had contributed like this nothing. For, yeah, it was, a, it was And it was touch and go. It not was, gonna lie. It was it like, was, whoa. It was barely going to make it. You know. Uh, but yeah, yeah you're you're good to have in a scramble. I'll yeah, tell you that. That's you know, why you're invited. I, I When everybody else was going to the beach, 
I was going to the range that's, and hitting yeah. golf balls. So, I, you know, that's, that's, I guess I get to learn how to play golf when I hit 10,000 balls. Well, that's awesome for Caitlin, too. Congratulations. Yeah, Caitlin's awesome. That's she's, great. She's my hero. She's cool. Um, all right, so anything else you wanted to mention? Did I skip over anything that was on your agenda that, that we want to talk about? Because we're coming to the end of this first podcast. No, I don't think so. All right. Well, I have I do have an insurance question for you, but all right, I'll let you. Let's, I'll, no, I'll let you go first. All right, and then I'll, I'll do the, the tip. Okay, so okay. if anybody follows me on Facebook, you've you've known for the last month or so I've been on this kick of everybody should have an umbrella, and um, that was last month. And and for those of you out there that run your mouth like Charlie and I do, it's a very good idea to have an umbrella. So keep that thought in mind. Have an umbrella, but. Uh, this month, I'm going to talk about life insurance. Life insurance is definitely an important insurance to have. And amazingly, only 60% of people in the United States have any life insurance at all. Wow. Only 60%. So 40% of you watching, which means if there's 10 people, that means four of you out there do not have any life insurance. So um, get life insurance, and, and uh, if you need help with that, just call us. Um, I wanted to thank my staff at Darshakow Insurance. You guys are amazing. You allow me to, to be me and do what I do and, and take care of thousands of clients, and I appreciate you guys for sure. Um, I wanted to thank Fiesta Media. Fiesta oh, man, Media. Elio is the best. He's the bomb. So he is I, the bomb. I wanted to thank Fiesta Media for... Producing, directing. Talk about a guy you got to go see live, by the way. Oh, he's, if you've oh, not seen Elio oh, live, amazing. I know there's not a lot of events these days. But he will done. do a drum solo, dude. He is, he is a drum solo. <laughs> he he's just—he doesn't know how to do. He's just the drum solo. He is the drum solo. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, yes. so great, and he's so. done a great job. And you last but not you, least, yeah. thank you, Charlie, for joining me. I, I, I Dude, want you fun. to come back, even if the people out there don't want you to yeah, come back I, next week. I feel like that's going to go poorly. There should not be a poll. <laughs> any, I, I want you to come back. Whatsoever. So <laughs> Thanks, it, man. Uh, it, this was a lot for, of fun. I appreciate it. Thanks for being here, yep. for sure. All right, Elio, take it away, my man. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.